but I am hungry and I wanted to make a video. So I figured I could combine them. Um, so I know some people have a lot of issues with eating sounds. So I just want to warn you now, this will be only eating and talking. I'm eating I got it from Mellow Mushroom. Um, if you've never been to Mellow Mushroom, or you don't have one in your area, I don't know if it's national, um, then I feel really sorry for you, because it's amazing. Um, so yeah, I got a winner quietly. Ooh, that sounded gross. I need to stop calling things for her. Um, I got a, it looks a little crazy, um, no mushroom, I love you, don't get me wrong, but your pizza looks a little crazy sometimes. Uh, I just got a normal pizza with vegan cheese and pesto tofu, and it looks kind of like modern art, but I'm sure she is beautiful. Uh, open the lid. I am vegan. Um, I'm on, well, I'm on. I say that I eat vegan because I don't think my everything that I do is 100% perfect. Um, I am trying to take up a slice quietly, of course. Um, take. Okay. Some people think tofu is gross, or that the fact that I'm doing this is gross, or that I put tofu on pizza is gross. And I'm like, live your life. I don't really care what you put on your pizza. Why do you care what I put on mine? She's beautiful. This is everything. I feel blessed right now. <laughs> I really do. So yeah, this is just, again, cheese pizza, vegan cheese and pesto tofu. Um, oh yeah, going back to what I said, I'm, I eat vegan. Um, I think I eat probably 90% vegan, 95%. Um, every time I cook for myself and every time I go get food, I try to make sure it's vegan. The reason why I say 95% is because um, I get really anxious asking restaurants um, restaurant employees to alter my food order, which I know is silly, but, um, a lot of the time, if I'm at a restaurant and it doesn't explicitly say, and I don't, I don't know for sure that it's made with, like, butter, or if it doesn't say, if I know there's not cheese on it, um, usually butter's the culprit. If it doesn't say that it's made with butter, I usually don't ask, which I know is stupid, but it makes me nervous, so I say 95%. I'm working on it. If you follow my Instagram, you would know that a bird fell from the chimney into my house yesterday. That's what happens. Oops, my teeth. Um, birds, you can't see from here, but like, do you see like where those pictures are? Below that is a fireplace, um, and birds live in the chimney, they make nests there, and our cover for the fireplace is kind of broken, so sometimes birds fall through the crack. Can you imagine if a bird fell through during this video? I would actually turn Anyways, a bird fell through. Yesterday morning I was getting ready for work and I just hear flapping and my cat running and I went, fuck. Before people start commenting, 
about me being vegan, saying like, ah, oh, what's that? Like, meh, meh, you're that stupid. Meh. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm not like angry with people who are vegan. Eat what you want to eat. I don't. I don't have time to police other people. I don't have the time or the energy to police other people. I do say, if you're thinking about going vegan or vegetarian or whatever, recommend it. It's super fun, um, which sounds really weird, but I like cooking. <clears throat> um, it's really good for your health to be plant-based. I mean, there's really nothing wrong with it. It's not as restrictive as I thought it would be. Um, it does get kind of pricey though, uh, but, and like some people will tell you like it's, you can eat all the same stuff as you did before that you did, that you can when you're vegan. Like, you can have vegan chicken, you can have vegan ice cream. I'm like, yeah, that's all true, but it is more expensive, so. Like, let's not get ourselves. Um, but, I mean, things like bread, pasta, rice, um, things like that uh, are some of the cheapest things you can find. It's, it's definitely possible to live sustainably and affordably. Excuse me, when you're vegan. But... If you're thinking that you want to eat everything that you're eating now, vegan, it's going to be expensive. Like, the Ben & Jerry's vegan ice cream is, I think, like a dollar fifty more. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're someone like me who eats them by the pint, it gets crazy. down for now because she is ready for another slice of pizza. So. This is honestly my dream video because I love to eat and I love making videos. I feel kind of disgusting now. <laughs> mm. I have a question for you guys. Please comment down below and let me know. Um, I have been debating for a while whether or not to monetize my videos. And it's like, I'm financially okay. It's definitely, it definitely wouldn't be a need-based thing. But at the same time, it feels kind of silly to me to say, to see YouTube saying, hey, you can earn money on your videos. Just click a yes button, basically. And it, seem, it seems kind of silly for me to say no to that. Because I'm a college student and I'm like, I could always use the extra money. And also I want to buy a mic, I want to get a camera. So like it would all be used for that stuff. And those are things that I wouldn't be able to afford on my own right now. Um, so, I've thought about it, um, I really don't know much about it, I don't want it to be the kind of thing where I say yes to, and then later on regret it, I don't want it to think people to, like, I think I'm overthinking this too much, um, I don't want people to see ads on the video and say, they're selling out, but, um, I, I still don't really know how it works, but, 
then my boyfriend was saying you could set up like a PayPal or something, which also feels really weird because it's like, I know it's not like, hey, give me money. And I know tons of people accept donations. Oh God, I feel like there's something in my teeth. There was, okay, well, delicious. Um, uh, but yeah, like PayPal and Patreon, like I know a ton of people do it. And I said, I would be more about it if someone had asked. Nobody's asked me, hey, can I donate money to you? And I would never expect that anyways. Um, and I'm not saying like, comment below, tell me if you'd give me money, but um, I'm just putting it out there that like, nobody has asked if they could donate to me. So I don't feel comfortable at the moment setting up the donation thing. Um, I'm just like, it just feels weird to me. Um, it's not a bad thing, it's just like, for me, no. But as far as monetizing videos, I think it sounds like a good idea, um, but I would like to get the opinion of other people before I just say yes, because it is my channel, but you're watching it, I'm just creating it, so you would see the ads, not me. I don't know, I don't, I think I'm overthinking it, but I still would like to know what you think about it. So just let me know if you have an opinion, or if you don't, it doesn't, I don't care. Just leave a comment. If you hear what sounds like scraping in the background, my cat is spoiled. He has like dry food and wet food, and the wet food's like super special, and he gets really hyped up about it. And the dry food's like whatever. But there's a plate on the ground next to his bowl of dry food of the remains of wet food, and he's just like from like yesterday, and he's just trying to lick up the remains because <laughs> he's. I'll just like put his face in it like It's only like four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm fully prepared to smash this pizza into my body. Let me just say that pesto is so bomb. I am living my best life right now. my knuckles in videos and don't realize I'm doing it and I always feel terrible because I feel like it's not relaxing at all. It makes me cringe when other people do it. So I'm really sorry. Oh 
I used to fold my pizza all the time. I couldn't eat it without it folded. Now I'm not gonna shirt. Or is I swear to God? He's looking up like clean. It's been like a day. It's just I just had to take about 30 seconds to pick all the pesto out of my teeth. So, if you've been staring at like beautiful green dots on my face, sorry about it. <laughs> I want to address something that I mentioned in another video. That, um, I just mentioned it offhand, but oh, and it's kind of funny the reaction I've gotten. Not funny, just interesting. Not what I expected. Um, that I addressed comments that I've been getting asking if I was a boy or a girl, and I responded with, which I thought was kind of like a smart retort. Um, and then people are asking me what my pronouns are. I've been asked this only like a handful of times. What pronouns do you use? Do you use she, her pronouns? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and I do. I identify as female. I use she, her pronouns. Um, and those kinds of questions don't bother me. Um, and I knew that the people who had previously commented things like, are you a boy or a girl? Because I can't tell. Or you look like a gay boy. Um, I knew those were just like internet morons. <laughs> Uh, and I was just like, and also I don't think it really matters. Like, I don't think that my gender should affect the video at all. Um, but I appreciated the people who asked, which I think is just a nice thing to do. Um, some people have been saying like, it's political correctness, and I'm like, and like, it's just nice <laughs> to ask people. I have a few trans friends, transgender friends, and it's just like, it's just the polite thing to do, because you, it's just one of those things where you, especially, uh, I'm in college, especially in college, you can't assume anybody's gender, you can't assume anything, really, and I don't think that's a bad thing, I think it just means that you can learn more about people, I think it's really cool, um, I think pronouns, asking for pronouns has start to become a formality, like, oh, what's your name and what are your pronouns? And I think it's cool. Um, so, yeah. She, her, I am a female. I have an advice female. Um, I just cracked my knuckle again. Um, but yeah. Uh, I, I don't, I hope no one will start commenting below this is like social justice warrior and feminism going blah feminism is ruining our society like it's none of that it's just change of pace in the world I think I think my cat is hungry because you're just sitting on the ground staring at me My cat has this weird thing where he doesn't break eye contact. And I've seen, especially in dogs, that they don't break eye contact. They have a hard time keeping eye contact with people who they consider dominance, to have dominance over them. Cats are assholes. <laughs> and they don't care. Uh -huh.
Let me introduce you to my cat. Morris. He doesn't like he doesn't like to be held, but only for a moment. It's like what is this? This is Morris. He is very fat. <laughs> And it's probably going to be very angry in a second that I picked him up. <laughs> I've, we've had him for maybe uh, four years, four or five years. I had him last high school from a shelter I used to work at. And he really likes putting his face on things, but he doesn't like to be held on something. But Sorry, Morris, I love you. Ew, I have a cat part of my face now. Okay, I think that'll be all for this video today. Let me close up my pizza box and save it later. Thank you, Mel Mushroom, for blessing us with your existence. Appreciate you. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see more reading videos in the future, let me know. Um, but to be honest, it's probably going to be a rare thing. It's just not my style, I guess. Um, that sounds really pretentious, but. Enjoy watching a stranger eat food in front of a camera. And I hope you all have a restful night. Bye bye. Did I miss anything?